What appears as truth to one person may appear as untruth to another. That's from his writing, You're Off to Mandir. One way of looking at this is, uh, well, two ways of looking at it. <laughs> One way is that this is what makes nonviolence so interesting. It is not a cut and dried formula. And the other thing is that nonviolence is always a learning process, and it means learning the heart and mind of a fellow human being. So that's why, you know, violence always arises from and leads to greater alienation. Nonviolence arises from an awareness of unity and enhances that awareness of unity for all concerned. Now, Albert Einstein was, in spirit, a completely nonviolent person. One of the ways that that showed itself, among others, is he actually declared, and he often lived this out, that if someone came along and disproved a theory which he had been clinging to, which most of us, we would identify ourselves with, if someone disproved a theory, which was in fact wrong, he said, quote, I would be delighted. And a very major case of that was the question of the expanding universe. And before Hubble, Einstein believed that the universe was static. It had gotten to where it was going. And Hubble proved through the uh, redshift that it was expanding rapidly. And Einstein was, uh, you know, he was not chagrined <laughs> to find out that he had been wrong. So that's a, a greatness of his. It goes along with his scientific genius.